You know, I really wasn't planning on making a video about this, but here we are, I guess, talking about last night's action between Arizona and Anaheim. You see, last night when I went to bed, after taking my allergy medication and tucking myself in, scrolling through the highlights and seeing all the cool stuff that went on in last night's worth of NHL play, I said to myself, you know, this Arizona and Anaheim game was pretty cool. Mostly because we saw Trevor Zegras go out there and do another Trevor Zegras-like thing. He tries to do a through-the-legs goal on the side of the net, but it doesn't work. And so what does he do after getting the rebound on that through-the-legs shot attempt? Well, he does the Michigan afterwards. He does a classic lacrosse goal. Honestly, he probably didn't need to do that because the goaltender was way out of position, but he still was able to get it off after immediately failing at the through-the-legs attempt, which just kind of epitomizes the entire body of work that Trevor Zegers has done when it comes to being in the spotlight and doing these fancy tricks, etc., etc. In fact, this goal he scored, the second Michigan goal of his career, he had to actually wrap it around his own teammates. Sonny Milano was right there on the far side post, kind of just standing there and interfering. Now, to be fair, he had joined the play a little bit into the motion of Zegras picking up the puck, so it's not really his fault that he was right there, but he also recognized, okay, Zegras is going to wrap it around far post. I need to get out of the way. And he tried to shuffle over to the side, but Zegras is like, okay, cool. I'm just going to throw the puck around you, and it's going to go in regardless. So Trevor Zegras gets his second Michigan goal of his career. He's up to two now in the NHL. He is tied with Andrei Svechnikov for total Michigan goals scored. In fact, there have only been three goal scorers to get this move done. Svechnikov, Forsberg, and of course Zegras himself. We're all just waiting for the fifth time for this thing to be done. But either way... The game yesterday, 5-0 Anaheim, I went to bed thinking, okay, this was a cool game where we had ourselves a highlight of Zegers doing another highlight material-worthy play, right? But then I woke up this morning and I saw the aftermath. Everything else that happened in this game, especially towards the ending parts of the third, as well as the commentary that was provided on the Arizona broadcast. I'll paint a picture with my words right here. The game is 5-0. It's in the last five minutes of the third period. The Arizona goaltender makes a save on the side of the net, and Trevor Zegras comes into the crease trying to bang the puck in. He said it was loose in a post-game interview, so that's the assumption we're going to make. Hey, you play to the whistle, there's still a puck right there. And Zegras, with the assumption that the puck was freed up, has the right to go in there and try to maximize his chance of scoring. Immediately after the whistle is blown, though, you see Arizona Coyotes forward Jay Beagle come in there and cross-check Trevor Zegras down to the ice. Now, normally you see plays like this happen once in a while where somebody is going after your goaltender and the team that is on the same side as the goaltender getting shoved around stands up for the goalie by saying, hey, you can't do that. There's a cross check one or two here and there on the arm or on the back or something like that. Sometimes the guy falls down, other times he doesn't. Beagle happened to cross track Trevor Zegers to the point that he did fall down, and this prompted a response from a few other Anaheim Ducks on the ice to go after and defend their star rookie. In particular, you had Troy Terry get into the mix with Jay Beagle right in the blue paint behind the goaltender. Beagle then grabs onto Troy Terry and starts wailing on the guy. You can see there's a little bit of grabbing here and there, there's a little bit of shuffling. Terry has his gloves on the entire time, but Jay Beagle just goes to town. He starts pounding on the guy with his fists, his rights, coming in there with uppercuts and right hooks. He's got a hold on Terry, and it's so bad to the point that Troy Terry is down on the ice by himself. He can't even get up under his own power. The camera pans to him and he's all bloodied. There was a picture of him after the fact and after the game where it looked like he had a few stitches near his eyebrow. His eye was all swollen up as well. And you had yourselves the penalties that were assessed in this little segment over here. Jay Beagle was given a fighting major as well as an aggressor game misconduct penalty. Troy Terry did not receive a fighting major in this instance. Beagle just went out there and went on a, let's just say, defenseless guy. Because, I mean, Terry had his gloves on, he wasn't in a position to start wailing on Beagle. And after Troy Terry went down, you could see a whole bunch of other Anaheim Ducks go out there and try to give Beagle a piece of their minds as well. 
Louis Erickson was actually holding back Trevor Zegras, so there you go. Some more former Vancouver Canucks getting involved in the play there. But Zegras was very angry, yelling at Beagle the entire time. Beagle was yelling at other people. And the scrum overall, I think in a lot of people's minds, was one of those things where it's like, okay, do you really need to go out there and do this? It's 5 nothing. Do you need to go out there and start wailing on guys? I get that you're losing, and I get that there was already a Michigan goal scored against you. I get that you might not be having the best night. But come on, five minutes left and you go out there and take it out on all the other guys around you by just grabbing onto the first guy you see and letting your fist do the talking? Might I remind you, Beagle didn't even punch the right guy. Trevor Zegras was the person who went into the goaltender and tried digging the puck out from underneath. It was Troy Terry who came in here as relief that Beagle started wailing on instead. You also had yourselves the commentary team during this entire segment, and... Oh boy, I did not realize that commentary teams or commentary sentiments like this would even be broadcasted on the air. But here's a quote from the color commentator about this entire situation. That's the problem with these young players. You want to embarrass guys? You want to skill it up? You better be prepared to get punched in the mouth. They also were talking about how Jay Beagle was a good dude for doing this. Oh, there you go. Good for Beagle for standing up for himself because he's a seasoned vet. He's seen it all. And these young players on Anaheim are just trying to skill it up. And if they want to skill it up, they better be prepared to answer the bell. And I don't think I need to articulate how archaic that kind of thought is. That, oh, just because other players are going out there and doing more skillful things, it means that they should be open to the idea of them getting their teeth knocked down their throats. Because they're skilled, that means they're allowed to get hit. Newsflash, Arizona Coyotes broadcast crew, this is kind of how the game has been trending the past five, six, seven, eight years. You never see fights in the same way that you did before. You never see hip checks in the same way you did before. You don't see the physical side of the game as much as you did not even like half a decade ago. This league is transitioning to a more skilled, speedy, and in my opinion, fun type of style to watch. Sure, you've got guys like Tortorella saying that Zegras and the skills that he's doing, oh, they're ruining the game, but still. Do you not get entertained by this? Like, do you not see this and go, wow, what a cool move. That's creative, too. I wish other players would go out there and do that. Like, is it not something that even enters your mind, the entertainment value and what things like this could provide the NHL? And so to act like these kinds of things are the reasons why players should get punished, or because you play like you do, you go out there and you do Michigan goals, you do some fancy skill moves, you go through the legs, it means you deserve to get hit. Nah, fam, that's not how it works. Here's a tip. If you're getting out skilled, you're getting out dangled, you're getting out scored, why doesn't your team just go out there and get more skilled? I don't think that's a bad conclusion at all. Okay, if the opponents are really running around you, they're skating around you, they're dangling around you, why don't you get other players who can also do the same? Don't retaliate by saying, okay, because they're dangling around us, because they're doing Michigans, here you go, let's get this veteran out there and beat him up. Jay Beagle isn't even really that guy. Like, honestly, I'm really surprised to see that he went out there and did this, and a lot of other people seem to be surprised, too. The Arizona broadcasters were like, yeah, no, this is the most fired up we've ever seen Beagle. Good for him for going out there and punching Troy Terry like that. He then had, of course, Trevor Zegras in the post-game interview. So eloquently spoken, by the way. My goodness, like, I get that he was super frustrated, and you can tell in the way that he was talking to the media how pissed off he was about this entire Beagle thing, but, like... He still presented his ideas in a very articulate way, saying that, hey, Troy Terry is a super important player to us. He's a 30-goal guy. He's the best player on our team, or at least he said something along those lines. And you're going to allow this guy to come in there and start wailing on him for no reason at all, seemingly? Like, Beagle didn't have any reason to go after Troy Terry other than the fact that Terry went up and approached Beagle trying to get him off of Zegras at the beginning of that scrum. Zegra said several times that he's not going to mention the name of the player in the Coyotes that he is embarrassed for because he pities the guy and he's embarrassed for how the guy handled that situation. You don't punch a guy when he's down, especially a 32 goal scorer who is an NHL superstar. It's humiliating and I think Beagle should be effing punished. Now we know from this tweet here from Craig Morgan, it appears the NHL's player safety department is not going to be looking at the one-sided Beagle and Terry fight. And yeah, before anybody goes in the comments and tries to correct me on what exactly happened, it was a one-sided fight. Come on, the guy was out there 
with his gloves on, trying to break free from the hold, but Beagle was just wailing on him, gloves off and everything. He was left in a bloody pulp afterwards, and that certainly isn't a good look for somebody that wasn't really involved in the initial play which led to the scrum in the first place. So... Talk to the comments all your thoughts. It's kind of funny, isn't it? How in a game where Trevor Zegras scores the second Michigan goal of his career, one where he has to go around his own teammate, this is the biggest story to come out of that game. It's Beagle, it's this conflict with Terry, it's Zegras getting into a yelling match and him calling out Beagle in the media. Crazy stuff in the National Hockey League, dude, eh? Let me know in the comments all your thoughts about this entire conversation here. I hope you enjoyed this British Show out of Charles 99. And bye.